Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I've been busy at it, getting hay. Working on this. This is a two-pack sawhorse and it's in the middle. So it looks like this. And what I plan to do with this is, uh, well, I'll show you. So in the past, when we use our horse trailer, I have these on the stall wall. But if we move three horses, um, this whole panel, this panel here is, comes off and it closes the door and makes this one room into a stall. So I can't use those to put saddles on. So I usually take them off because they're only screwed on by a hook here. And I just lift it up off there and I store it back here in this big pile of mess. So my plan here is to organize this before we go on a trail ride and put the saw horses here and I would cut the legs off and just put the saddles on top of it. This I thought would be a better idea because they fold up. All right, there you have it. Got Laura's saddle on there. That's not too bad. I may be able to fit up one more saddle on this. I'm not sure. I think I have a little bit of room back there to push it. But, uh, yeah, should fit maybe two saddles or almost two saddles. I'll try and put Gabby's on there. Well, that's it for today. That's it for crafting video with Sam this morning. Hope you enjoy this little DIY thing that I made. Boo! <laughs> Hi. Oh. <gasps> wow! Yeah. Wait, we can see. Hold on. I love it. Yeah, it's I excellent. I and that won't put another piece of wood here later to make it not move. Have it more sturdy. And, and we'll put something up here to block it from falling down. Well, this is blocked. Yeah, it's adorable. And you packed my saddle. Did you fix the? Yep, thanks. Thank wow, you've been a busy guy. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are come, we are down at the barn getting ready for a trail ride extravaganza. It's a glorious day on the Day by Day Farm. Winter is coming, so we are taking the horses out on the trail and, um, again. This will actually be our first adventure with our new truck. So Sam actually did want to take the trailer for a train for a ride to see if it was going to work. You have a bug on your back. Stupid bugs. Yeah, they're back again because the summer is back again. Uh, but we just never got there. The last time that we went on a trail ride, I was like so excited and panicked that I would forget something. I was packing for days. But this time, I'm pretty much know what I need and I'm ready to go. I guess the more you do it, you just get into the habit of packing what you need. So uh, this is number one, my helmet and my boots. The girls are headed down and they're just still both getting ready. Sophie's doing her makeup and Gabby's like waking up on weekends. She always sleeps in. Sophie has been phenomenal at coming down and taking care of Honey in the morning. We had a hay delivery today. And by hay deliver, I mean Sam went to pick it up, which is so good. This is our first hay pickup in our new truck. Our horses are out eating. I might wear this little thing this time and bring treats. Good morning. Can I put honey in the trailer? Uh, we need to clean out the trailer and put new shavings and stuff in there first. And then if she'll walk up, sure. All right, honey bear. All right, honey bear. You just walked yourself into there. I gave you enough room to walk fully through. Without... Look how cute. <laughs> Molly's like, I love you now, honey bear. I'm on a poop patrol in the baby field because we want to keep the grass doing growing as long as we can. I don't even know whose blanket this is. It's a cooler. It's nice. Is that mine? Girl. What a perfect little girl. Man, she is good. Yeah, good girl. You guys know when we got her. Our friends picked her up for us and she was really good about going on the trailer but you could tell she was really nervous once it was started moving and she's I told you she would walk right on 
Yeah, and she's doing so good. She's such an inquisitive little girl, and it's been... Well, how was I supposed to know inquisitive? Inquisitive, yeah. We loosened her halter a little because we... Oh, yeah, you're right, Sophia fits her fine. Yeah. I was freaking out. I was like, I think it looks too tight. And Sophie's like, it's fine. She's doing so good. So okay, it's a week in. It's a week in a day. Well. Sophie, tell me. How are you feeling about your birthday present? Are you thinking like you're overwhelmed? Are you having moments of self-doubt? Are you having moments of, like, how do you actually feel? She's sassy. Her sassy is like, I mean, she's still a baby. Once puberty <laughs> kicks in, she really will be sassy. You'll be eating those words. But how do you feel about how you are handling the whole thing? Yeah, like, she's a lot of work. <laughs> she is a lot of work. I gotta hold on to the thing, because I will fall down this. So what's really funny is, whoa. What's really interesting is that not everybody wants to have a foal or take care of a foal. We would never ever get like a horse foal. That is like a horse, a full breed foal. We're back. We would never do that. That's not my thing. It's not my thing. But there are lots of people out there that actually wouldn't even want a mini foal. Like Gabby is like, Gabby is not into the foal thing. She's not in to any kind of challenging horses she's not into like she likes to just relax but she's not the kind of person that has the energy or the drive to handle something that takes a lot of work does that make sense she sophie and i sophie and i are totally different we love a challenge we love learning we love pushing our minds i love that we live in a world where you can take on new adventures and learn and grow as humans and in your skill level as you go i think that's so amazing i know this one's a little more steep She's so good, like she's so willing. Girl. I take the pressure away when she takes a step. Girl. Yeah, that's scary. That is. And she did so good. She's like, well, yeah, there's hay in here and a hay net. Also, I noticed that like she definitely seems really small when we video her because we video from above, but she's actually no, can't go in that one. There's a hay bale there. Way she's actually not so super small. She's just almost like she's only a quarter smaller than Willow. No, please don't go under that. She's like, but I can fit. I actually don't know whose cooler this is and where we got it. It has rope on it. What the heck? Where do we get this? Sophie, where did we get this? It's cute. I think that's the Barnes. Or that's Finney's. It's not Finn's. But Finn's was like a dark blue. And that's like. Alright, I don't know whose this is or where we got it. I'll have to look that look into that. Did it scare me? Did it scare her on my tack there? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> People are worried that because we are so smitten with her and in love with her that we won't be... She's going to pick it up and throw That her. we won't make her behave and make her listen to rules. Sophie, <laughs> Sophie is definitely not that girl. She believes and she's been trained. Rilla listens to me so well because yeah. she knows... Sophie doesn't them. even have to use a halter and her horse listens to her. We are loving all the advice and all the suggestions oh, though. I like to take them in and store them away for when the time comes and we need to like think about doing something different. I love that with horses, if one thing doesn't work, you can try something out. Sam just asked me, where's Gabby? What's the question of life? Where is Gabby? So today we're bringing Gracie. And next time we're bringing Willows. And yeah, so we always leave a horse here with, with Honey when we go out. We also have someone that comes and does stuff for us when we're gone. So like, if we're out during the day and then we're late getting home and the Excuse horses- me, my arm's gonna break. And the horses need to come in. I have a friend that comes and puts them in. If we're away somewhere, even if it's like for a day, sometimes we go to Toronto for the day, we have somebody who comes and lets out our dogs for us. We're bringing our English and our Western saddle for Gracie. So uh, sadly, today is not gonna be a pink day for my girl. I'm gonna bring, and it's not, I'm not gonna bring my bonnet from Equus Bonnets. Because I'm gonna try her, maybe I should bring it anyway. Better bring it just in case she doesn't respond well. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna try on this trail. Oh. 
You guys know that I got this rope halter and it's different in a couple of ways. So I'm gonna try this one, it has the twisted pole. So I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna try her in that one. I'm gonna bring the pink one just in case I need it. But I honestly don't think she's gonna respond badly. She's just not that kind of trail horse. I don't think we need that many saddle pads. She has to choose. <laughs> Sophie, you overpack. You're just finding out? <laughs> yeah. I think I should bring my bonnet because what if there's bugs? I feel like I put the bug spray away for the season when it got cold. Now I don't know where it is. So for Christmas this year, I was thinking about getting the girls. More of this? Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of stuff. Can I use this for honey's tail? Their own first can aid I, can stuff. Can I do honey's tail right now, please? Sure. I think the last thing I need to find is the bug spray. What do I do with it? I know is I go to open honey's stall. She's standing there looking at her salt. I know. She loves her salt. Like, I don't think we can go. What? It's not working. All right, you figured it out. No, I didn't figure it out. Stop the presses. Hold the phone. We don't know if it's working. Yeah, we just wiggle that. Cool. Gabby's our second in command mechanic. I saw some comments saying like, Gabby is such a hard worker. And Sophie should have been doing this and that. In our family, we find each other's strengths and we take on different jobs. So Sophie will do this job, this job, and this job because she's really good at it and she's really strong at it. And it's, and it's what she's interested in. And then Gabby, thankfully, is more inclined towards like mechanical stuff and building stuff. And it's, sh oh, I think we got it. So, um, that's what we do in our family. We, we all work differently. Differently. We all have jobs specific to our specific skill set, and that's how it works. I'd love to hear though in the comments below how it works in your family. Do you all? Are you all required to do the same jobs, even if it's not your thing? Like, are you all required to do the exact same jobs, or do you have your own specific job set out for you? It works now. Good job, Gabby. It's Gabby's touch. Bring the leader. The rest will follow. How'd she know? I taught her to walk on the Hi, trail. girlie. You want to go for a ride? Willow's yeah. like, she is my leader. <laughs> Penny's waiting her turn at the water cooler. <laughs> the two boss horses are waiting their turn. She's like, I'll watch guard. I'll stand guard, you guys. You guys drink. Come on, we gotta go. We're on a timeline here. Have a drink. Casey just came up to me and tried to stick her head in my in my halter. She's like, I'll go. I want to go. Let's go. Well, guess what, Gracie girl? It's your turn. You're going. Do you want to go? Yeah? Tina's all ready to go. Penny's having her drink. Did you, did you get Gabby's saddle, Sam? All right, let's get ready. We are all ready. This is what it looks like with a family trail ride, you guys. It looks like when it's a whole family affair, we'll wait our turn. Someone said that when you're on a trail ride, I think it was Katie Unger, you have to see the horse's hooves in front of you on a trail, and I love that. At the Pasifino farm, they are all trained to do specific, a specific thing. They all know their job. I thought you didn't want to hang with me. Just not your kind of thing. You'd rather sit under your favorite tree. That's how it seemed to me. But I did you, and I did to lose. Just so I could be with you. And you hurt me, and you follow through. Now all my dreams are coming true. I just want. Gracie's like, I'm here. Uh, where's the brush, Sophie? It's right there. The mane brush? Yeah, it's broken. Oh, uh, so I love Gracie's mane. She's like, wow, where am I? Like, this is exciting for me. You are gorgeous on her. How do you feel? That Western saddle is perfect. It fits me like perfectly. 
Yeah, I love it. It's all so 